I'm going to show off the uh, tap function. I'll start a drum loop and then I'll sync to it by tapping and then I'll start the sequence. Okay, I'll just go through some of the clock modes. The first uh, demo that I just did with the top was using the internal clock. The other possible clocking modes, which are accessible through the Quantize page, are so internal, then we have MIDI, and external. We'll start with the MIDI. The MIDI clocking mode allows you to use um, an external MIDI clock, um, which can be brought in through uh, uh, other third party modules and the MIDI to CV63 um, also has a MIDI clock out. The MIDI clock is 24 pulses per quarter note. It's a high speed clock. All the standard features of the sequencer are available when the MIDI clock is working. The sync setting is saved with the song, so you can store the type of clocking mode with the song. To get the uh, MIDI clock running, we arm the sequencer by pushing the run stop button which puts it into a state while it's waiting for the external MIDI clock to kick in. Also as part of the MIDI clock setup, there's a feature which you find through the, uh, on the Quantize page. Here we can set the clock delay. This allows you to set the amount of delay between the clock, the MIDI clock and uh, the sequencer so that if you're using it with a computer and there's a latency in the sound card, you can adjust for it. Some uh, software, uh, sequencing software allows you to do this internally, but in case it doesn't, you can do it here. So here I have a 28 millisecond uh, clock delay because that's how much uh, delay my uh, sound card has, and it allows you to tighten it up. The way you do it is you tap on it and then change the value. It gets stored when you do a save. 
and then you go back to the menu from here. Okay, and this is the uh, external sync mode. The external sync is good for clocking with just uh, regular LFOs or low speed clocks. We set it on the quantize page. There it's set to external. Uh, one thing that changes is the loop settings. You can now have uh, a loop from 1 to 16 pulses and off. It's different than, than when it's in MIDI or internal clock mode where it's set by uh, 4, 4, 3, 4, etc. We're not so concerned about standard music notation uh, here because we're just working with pulses, not note values. Okay, so we'll set it to 8. The other thing that changes in external mode is the way that the, um, the gate and uh, note length are displayed. Instead of being quarter, eighth, sixteenth note, it's indicated by just simple numbers. The shortest note length in external sync mode is the clock pulse. If the clock pulse is uh, a sixteenth note pattern, then when the uh, gate length and note length are set to one, it will run at the same 16th note pattern duration. Um, it's now a division. So here we have two. These are ones. You can set it to any value from one to eight. And then, uh, it, so it's a divider now. It divides the clock. So the way we started is, is that we have the clock running the external clock running, so we just started with the run stop button. And I can speed it up and slow it down. You can't change the BPM, but the BPM does tell you what the tempo is based on the external clock. You can patch in um, other sequencers or other, uh, other modules that need uh, clock pulses using the gate outputs. And then you can divide that um, down. You can divide the, the external clock down, or you can uh, use it to create uh, rhythm variations. It, it gives you a lot of possibilities because the, the touch sequencer is really a massive clock. It's, it gives you four programmable clocks. And you can use either the internal clock to generate clocks to synchronize other modules, or you can use um, an external clock and then process those clocks to generate other tempos of clock. Hope that makes sense.